Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're looking at illustrative math for sixth grade. This is unit six, lesson three, staying in balance. The objective states, I can write equations that could represent the weights on a balanced hanger and solve these equations by reasoning about weights. This is activity 3.3, connecting diagrams to equations and solutions. The directions say, here are some balanced hangers where each piece is labeled with its weight. For each diagram, write an equation. So I'm going to do step number one first. So since these are balanced, I know that the the value on the left hand side is equal to the value on the right hand side. So I have x and 3 together being equal to 8. For balance hanger B, I have a 12 that's equal to y and y. Another way I can write that is 12 is equal to 2 y's. For balance hanger C, I could say that 11 is equal to z plus z, plus z, plus z, or I could acknowledge that there's four z's that are the same weight as 11. For balanced hanger D, I see that 13 and 4 fifths is equal to, or balanced with, w and 3 and 4 fifths. Number two says explain how to figure out the weight of a piece labeled with a letter by reasoning about the diagram. So if I look at uh, hanger A, I can see that x and 3 together is the same thing as 8. So that 3 takes up 3 of 8, which means there's some left. And I know that 8 minus 3 is the same thing as 5. So the x part of that weight must be equal to 5. If I look at hanger B, I've got two y's that... Uh, make up 12, and those y's are the exact same shape and size. They must have the exact same value. So if I split 12 in half, each one of those y's is equal to 6. And the same thing happens with 11. We could take that 11 and split it into four equal parts. And so then each one of those z's is equal to 11 divided by 4, or... 2 and 3 fourths, or 2 and 75 hundredths. And for this last one, I have W taking up some amount of space, and then 3 and 4 fifths taking up some amount of space. And then if I look at 13 and 4 fifths, it already has 3 and 4 fifths in it. The only part that's left is the 1 in the tens place. So the W must be equal to 10. Number three says explain how to figure out the weight of a piece labeled with a letter by reasoning about the equation. Well, the equation for A was x plus 3 equals 8, or x and 3 equals 8. Right now, that missing value x is being added to 3. And I could get rid of that if I wanted to by taking away a 3, because plus 3 minus 3, that's the same thing as x plus 0, or x and then if I do that, though, to one side of the equation, I have to keep it balanced. I have to keep it balanced by doing the same thing to the other side of the equation. So I'm going to subtract a 3 from the other side of the equation. So in this case, x is equal to 5. Um, for b, we could look at either y plus y or 2y equals 12. Let's go with 2y is equal to 12. Right now, y is being multiplied by 2. And if I wanted to get rid of that 2, I could use the inverse operation of division and divide by 2, because 2 divided by 2 is 1, leaving 1 behind, just 1y. But if I do that just to one side, that's like getting rid of one of these y's, but doing nothing to the other side. And so then that hanger is going to be unbalanced. It won't be balanced anymore. It'll be heavier on this side. So I have to make the same change to the other side. I have to also have to split the other side in half. And so then y again is equal to 6 just like we saw before. And this uh, same thing would happen with hanger b and c that we did just now with our reasoning. And the same thing would also be true for a and d using that same kind of reasoning of uh, eliminating 3 and 4 fifths by subtracting 3 and 4 fifths, but we have to do it to both sides to keep that hanger in balance. Again, our objective stated I can write equations that could represent the weights on a balanced hanger and solve these equations by reasoning about the weights. Thanks for watching.